all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 37 here on Planet 26. Well, in the last episode, we kind of revamped our landing platform a little bit. We actually put in better spotlights. We got the uh, we got numbers put down for each of the bays, and we've got exits off of the platform here itself and we got a manual exit out of the upper observation tower so <clears throat> should power go out nobody's going to be stranded they'll be able to get out from uh, their respective areas so pretty much done with this uh, area here for now uh, I might add a few more things, but if we go down below, and I think this area is pretty well done. <laughs> There's some other stuff I want to put in. <clears throat> I want to put catwalks and stuff in so that you can have access up above for maintenance. Uh, so maybe a uh, catwalk along the edge here and maybe on the other side catwalks down through here down over here you know in and around and the idea is just so that the maintenance workers can get up there and be able to perform maintenance on these particular pieces of machinery so really the next step is you know we've got the industrial all in we've got everything built here we've got to have some facilities for the people which means we've got to have a kitchen, kind of a rec area. I've still got to put uh, a security office in. I've got to put a medical office in, and I have to put in uh, habitation uh, or habs for where they can sleep and relax and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to get started on. And I'm thinking about putting that in out in this area right here. So what we're going to end up doing is extending out uh, a walkway from this area right here. Uh, and then uh, that will give them access and the habitation stuff will be away from the industrial area. You know, you're, you're out here, you're stuck on this planet. You got to have a nice place to uh, stay or, or sleep and you don't want to be right next to the, the area that you're working on or you're working in. And I just remember there's something I need to change. Uh, there was a... I had noticed that, that the red flashing lights is coming down below down here. <clears throat> just on the one, I guess. Uh, on all of them. Uh, I should probably adjust that a little bit so let's see if we can adjust those up and actually let me get those adjusted up I do have to adjust this spotlight a little bit so let me start getting these lights adjusted and then I'm going to start laying out the walkways and stuff for the other facilities and so uh, once I get a little farther along I'll uh, catch back up with you all
All right, just to give you a little bit of an update, I did get those uh, the red uh, rotating lights uh, from not uh, bleeding through down below down here, so I got that fixed. And I adjusted the uh, small floodlight right here so that uh, it, uh, it wasn't flashing when you could see it from other spots. For some reason, it was flashing. So uh, you can kind of see that it's got the Energy outline low. of the... Uh, uh, grinder ship right here, so that looks pretty good. And so, if we go down here, I have been busy laying out what I want to do down here, at least wise for the first couple of buildings. So, this is going to be a walkway. Uh, I still got to put rails up, I haven't, haven't finished anything. This is small light pole. So these will be lights lining the walkway down through here. This over here is going to be the medical facility. And I haven't decided if it's going to be a single story or two stories. Uh, but that's uh, what uh, this is going to be right here. And then this big building over here is going to be the food court the rec area and the entertainment area so a place for the uh, staff to come and unwind and relax a little bit and uh, maybe watch a movie or two or whatever but uh, this is what this place is going to be so it's going to be taking a lot of steel a lot of welding and uh, they're going to have these buildings over here are going to be uh, have round corners on them as they're built up so that they'll look a little softer uh, and not so much squarish industrial like and matter of fact that's what I have to do over here on this side on these corners I want this to be rounded as well so let's go ahead and take these four corners out that one and that one that way I don't forget and that, that that's what I want to do here all right so that's those four corners out of the way so I got a lot of building to do uh, as you can see uh, if I can get uh, at least the main foundations in and these lights in and the rails in today I'll be pretty happy so uh, I guess I need to get some energy, so once I get some energy and uh, uh, get some more of this done, I'll uh, catch back up with you all.
All right. Well, I've got the walkway completed out past uh, the one uh, building that's going to go in there. I've got the lights in. Now, I'll need to adjust all of those lights and stuff once I get uh, this done. But as you can see, I've got uh, uh, getting the uh, rails in. And I may want to at some point have some sort of exit off of here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, getting the rails in. And so I'll have these all done. And then I think the next thing that uh, I'll start working on is start uh, uh, getting the platform built out here and then start framing this building out and see if we can't get that done today. So let me get, uh, get back at it, uh, get these foundations in, uh, finish getting these rails done, and then I'll give you another update as I get farther along here. Well, I am uh, getting things done here, uh, kind of anyway. Uh, so I uh, I finished. Come on, I finished getting the walkway all done and getting the rails all in, and so that's completely done out here. And what I wanted to do was start. I started framing this in. And I was hoping to try to use the scaffolding blocks. And so, but they're not working the way I thought they might. So I'm going to have to try some more on that. I would like to try to use the scaffolding blocks because that's kind of the idea. But it, I don't want to have to completely build them out for them to be usable either. Uh, so, of course, that's, a, that's an armor slope. Uh, but these takes quite a bit of materials. And if I have to build them all just to make them usable, then that's probably not going to work as well as I'd like for them to do. 
So I'm going to keep playing around, see if I can find some stuff that will work. Because I would like to try to build up the scaffolding up around the outside as I'm building up the structure. So we'll see how it goes. So I just wanted to kind of give you a bit of an update on this as to where I'm at. Uh, we've got an awful lot of framing to do, but I'm going to start working on these scaffolding again. So I'll give you an update here in a little bit. Okay, well, I think I kind of got an idea how I want to use the scaffolding blocks. Uh, I might have been putting them in upside down. So I've got the walkable scaffolding block, and I flipped it. I looked at the picture, and I flipped it over. And so that's going to allow me to walk along without having to completely uh, build them. And if I wanted to have them completely built, then I could have done that. Uh, but I, want, I don't want to do that. I want to just continue to build up with the scaffolding blocks so now this way uh, I can start building up my structure and so let me double check uh, I need green and if we go over to here then I'm up high enough now where I can start placing this block and I should be able to come down here and place this block and let's go ahead and build these out I always like to get my corners done and have them completely done all the way down because I end up covering them up a lot of times and then I can't get to finishing the block so I like to always have all my blocks finished and of course I need more steel so, anyway, just wanted to kind of give you a bit of an update here. Uh, uh, got the scaffolding blocks to where I can use them. And so now, uh, let me go get some more steel. And let me start uh, working on this building and seeing how much of it I can get framed in.
I am uh, getting some of this all framed in. I've got uh, uh, starting to work on getting the framing in on my second floor, uh, which is as high as this will go. Uh, it's going to be two floors. The bottom bottom half is going to be the uh, uh, food court and places to sit, lounge a little bit. Uh, have your coffee uh, there'll be plate tables and stuff set up but this is going to be the food court down below then the second story is going to be kind of a theater room uh, along with uh, some recreation and stuff like that so uh, that's kind of the idea of what this building is going to be uh, again it's going to be kind of a relaxing building uh, where you can eat and pretty much uh, just hang out uh, let me keep building on this uh, a little bit more see if I can't uh, at least get that second floor all framed in and then uh, probably will be pretty close to calling it time for the uh, video to be done so uh, yeah let me get uh, let me see if I can't get some more done here I'm about to get that uh, floor done. 
think I got enough uh, steel on me now to finish this out. We'll have a look around. And that should just about wrap things up here. We've got quite a bit done today, although it doesn't look like it. We managed to get the layout all done, at least for these first two buildings. And then uh, the food court entertainment area is coming along. Uh, more, uh, I've got more than just the framework done on it. Well, I take that back. I still got to put another framework up for the second story, but we do have this bottom one all done, uh, at least all framed in. And then I got to still got to do the floor down here as well. So I still got a lot of building left to do, but uh, we've got this one all kind of laid out. And I kind of got it in my head as to what I want to do with there. Uh, so we'll see how that uh, kind of plays along here. And then this is going to be the uh, medical facility over here. And so I've got an awful lot to do over here. This is just to kind of get a place laid out. I also, out over in this direction out over here is where the uh pabs are going to be where they'll the sleeping quarters and showers and facilities and stuff like that will all be uh i'm going to make a small maybe four or five well let's see either four or six pabs that uh, can house uh approximately four to five people in them so if i have six that'll be a staff of 30 here uh managing the base and i think that's a pretty fair number so i uh i think that'll just about do it for today on this video we are ever so slowly starting to make progress on the base overall uh, we, we've got a real nice industrial area all put in. So that's uh, all set and working. This area here is going to be uh, left for future expansion. I might put a small, you know, uh, storage bin into this area. Some stuff like that that can be easily tore down when the company wants to expand this area in here. Uh, so that's what this area will be for. I still got to put a security room in where uh, it can monitor the whole base and that sort of thing and some excess servers and things like that. So, All right. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That will really help the channel. And ring that bell. I'm always uploading new videos every week. Uh, not just of space engineers so uh, please check out the other videos as well and uh, it'll uh, let you know when uh, I uh, put those videos up all right all you space engineers out there keep your heads low keep building away and don't get shot and with that commander kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone <laughs>